Hi everyone, I'm Helen Plass from mumandbaby.ie. Welcome, this is a sequence for pregnancy yoga. Being pregnant, you want to make sure that you've had a GP clearance or whoever your medical um, uh, provider is, that you're safe and it's okay to practice yoga during pregnancy. I'd recommend waiting for about 12 or 13 weeks into your pregnancy to start uh, commencing yoga, particularly if it's a new activity for you. So we're going to carry on and any time you feel tired or it's just not feeling right for you then come down into a resting pose like child's pose which we'll show you um, I'll show you through the video. We're going to start the warm up so start nice and gently into our practice for creating space. We're going to interlock the hands take a nice big deep breath in then exhale press away from you at chest level relaxing the shoulders the next breath in you're going to draw the arms all the way up big stretch just nice and easy, looking up if it's comfortable, and exhale down. Again, interlock the hands, breathing in. Exhale, press away. Relax your shoulders. Looking up if that feels good. Exhale down. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale down. So from here, we're going to start to open up the chest. So you're going to take the hands behind you, interlocking the fingers, and you're going to roll the shoulders up and back. So immediately, you're going to start creating space through the chest. So you can stay here for a few moments, or if it feels more comfortable, or you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can just begin to raise the arms a little bit, away from the back, away from the floor. It might be an inch, it might be more, depending on your openness. Again, but relax the shoulders. You want to have real release through the chest and the shoulders and then we'll come back down and we'll start to stretch the back out so this time the hands are going to be in front of you palms are facing and you're going to roll away so you're starting to rolling your back rounding the spine the chin goes down to the chest very slightly bringing the pubic bone up towards the belly button your hands are outstretched in front of you and your back is gently stretching behind you so getting a nice stretch up all through the muscles of the back then coming nice and slowly out of this we're going to come to seated position so if you have a yoga block or just a cushion you can sit down on the edge of it and get yourself comfortable you don't have to sit cross-legged but see how it goes for you we're going to start to open up into the ribs so again sitting up nice and tall take the right hand down pointing away from you to the other side of the room. You're going to inhale the left arm up and as you do just slide the right arm away bending at the elbow perhaps and try to keep that left butt cheek on the ground. Opening through and then nice and slowly use the right hand to windmill up over the other side. Take the ear off the shoulder so you don't want tightness, loads of space. Inhale up, over we go again. last time and then coming back upright we're going to stretch the back a little so we're going to take the right hand to your left knee and you're going to take the left hand behind you so really what you want is that back to be nice and straight so you're going to sit up nice and tall take a big deep breath in then use the hand on the knee to turn to look over the left shoulder so again, you're trying to get a stretch through the middle of the back, keep in that position. Back is nice and straight, you shouldn't feel like you're leaning back. Relax the shoulders. And then super slow, come back and we'll go the other side. This time, left hand to the right knee, the right hand behind you. Sit up tall and exhale, turn to look over the right shoulder. So you can use the hand that's on the knee to guide you a little more. Feeling a stretch in and around the middle area of your upper back, around the bra strap. Every exhale, you can see if you can move a little more into it. But you should never feel any pulling on the belly anywhere. And then nice and slow, come back to the centre. So we're going to get onto the hands and the knees now. So bring the legs to one side, hands down onto your mat and just push yourself up. If you're on a hardwood floor, you could perhaps make a little fold in your mat or use your cushion or your pillow, whichever you feel is comfortable. So coming down, 
Your middle fingers should be pointing straight ahead of you, and the little crease in your mat and your wrist should be in line with the front of your mat. Shoulders on top of wrists, and the hips on top of the knees. The knees are about hip width distance, but if you feel comfortable, they can be wider. But if you have any form of pelvic pain, SPD, anything like that, always keep the knees hip width distance. So we're going to begin with a nice big deep breath in. As you exhale, rounding through the spine, tucking the chin down to the chest and easing the top of the back up towards the ceiling. Coming back down, flat back, look up, breathing in. Again, exhale. Squeeze the pelvic floor in here and the muscles between the pubic bone and the belly button. And coming back to a flat back, or if you're used to yoga, you can very slightly dip the belly down, bum up. Shoulders back, collarbones wide as you breathe in. We'll do a few of these, exhaling, rounding through the spine. Inhaling as you come back. Relax the pelvic floor and the tummy muscles as you come back up. Last time, exhale, get a nice stretch through the back. And then coming back to the central position. So we're going to meet, move the knees nice and wide now to the whole width of your mat, bring the toes in touching. Take the right hand into the centre of your mat. You're going to just look at the left hand and start to open all the way up. So reaching that left hand straight up as you draw the rib cage up towards the ceiling. Exhale the right hand down to the center of the mat. Inhale, open up, exhale, down. Do a few to each side. You're gonna try and feel all the little muscles going down, the ribs, the spine, opening up, creating lots of space. Inhale the right arm up. Nice and slowly, you can see there's no jerky movements, I'm just doing this super slow. Inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, and exhale. So from here, bring the knees back to hip width distance, and we're going to start to look at some stretching for the back. I'm going to do downward facing dog, it's not for everyone, particularly if you're in your last trimester. I know plenty of my mums who love doing down dog right up until they're 40, 42 weeks, but it doesn't suit everyone. So I'll show you down dog first of all. If you have any folds in your mat or pillows, get rid of them. I'll also show you an alternative by just hanging on the back of a chair or using the wall as well. So for down dog, you really need to make sure that you're breathing. It's very common to hold your breath during down dog. And over two breaths, three breaths, if you're really used to yoga, I still wouldn't hold it for more than four, four breaths when you're pregnant. So I'll talk you through it. We're going to do it a couple of times and resting in between. So it's a great stretch in your back is what you're looking for. So hands back down to underneath the shoulders, curl the toes under. Don't think about it too much and just stick the bum up into the air. Then push back and away from your hands. So what you try to do is get a nice V-shaped position in your upper back. So the legs might be really tight, just bend the knees one at a time, bring the opposite heel to the floor as you do. Try to push back away from your hands, get a nice connection with the breath, relaxing the neck totally. And then when you're ready, just come down to child's pose. So child's pose are these knees wide, toes touching, sit your bum down to your heels. Then you can do a number of things with your hands. Stretch them out in front of you, head to the mat or down by either side, or come up onto your forearms, making little fists of the hands and resting the head. For child's pose, you want to make sure that you can use this when you're not having contractions during labour, and to get nice, lots of slow breathing back in when you're not having contractions, to get lots of oxygen back into the bloodstream to help your uterus with the contractions. So I would stay down in child's pose, for quite a few breaths until your heart rate has completely come down, and then we'll do it again. So, back up, hands pressing down, toes curled under, and pressing back. Another option, what you can do, it's not a classical down dog pose, but sometimes bending both knees at the same time will really take the pressure off your lower back, and then you can really stretch into it, bringing your belly down towards your thighs, which is really nice stretch. 
and just coming back down again, rest down into your child's pose, or indeed if you're not comfortable in any of those poses, you can set yourself up. If you have heartburn, I definitely would not recommend doing um, downward dog. So I'm going to show you a couple of alternatives. Hold on to the back of the chair and start to walk your feet backwards. They're hip width distance and really as your arms straighten, push your bum away from you, easing your chest down towards the floor. That's a really nice stretch if you have a cot already made up or you already have a child. I find hanging off a cot, which I used to do a lot when my babies were small, and just again stretching down gives you a good stretch for the back and then nice and slowly coming up. So hands to the wall and you're just going to start again walking the hands down, walking the legs back, straighten yourself out and just pushing your, yourself down. So take your time. We're down and down dog. How you'd come to stand up is just step one leg forward, curl the toes of the back foot under and bring the back foot to meet the front foot and then nice and slowly rolling yourself up to stand. So we're going to move on now to a few standing poses again to stretch out the back. So at any point you feel lightheaded, nauseous, you come out of the pose and possibly you can come down to child's pose or just take it easy, take a few breaths of fresh air and we'll go again. Okay? So from here we're going to go into Virudrasana 2, Warrior 2. So you're going to have nice wide legs in Warrior 2. Again, if you have any sort of pelvic pain, you omit any wide-legged stances because you're always going to have your feet hip width distance at the most. So for warrior two, we're going to have our legs pretty wide and the legs are going to be really strong all the time. So you're going to start by turning the right toes parallel and your back toes in a little bit. So really squeeze in those muscles of the legs, lift up the pelvic floor, grow really long and inhale the arms up. So your hands are just lower than shoulder level. And when you're ready, you're gonna bend the right knee. So bending down into the right knee and you're trying to eventually get somewhere around parallel to the, the leg to your mat. Don't worry too much about that for now. So more importantly, the knee should be going out over the center of your foot and out towards the little toe side of the foot. At the same time, try and bring this left hip back so it's an opening of the pelvis. Exhale all the time, you're still relaxing into the pose. It's really strong body, strong back leg, looking out over the middle finger of the right hand. From here, we're gonna drop that right arm down and inhale the left arm up or over. See however you feel. Again, lots of space through the side, through the back. Look up at your arm or look down or look wherever makes your neck comfortable. Now when you're ready, really draw in those lower abdominal muscles and squeezing all the way up to stand. And we'll bring the arms down if you wish or keep them up for a stronger practice. Other side, left toes parallel, back toes turn them in. Strong legs, strong core muscles. Inhale them up, relax the shoulders. Bend down into the left knee. Look over the left fingers. Strong back right leg. So again, make sure that knee isn't caving in. You want to make sure your alignment is right. Relax the shoulders, but don't let that back arm drop. And you're not lunging the body forward. Your torso is upright, breastbone right on top of belly button, on top of pubic bone, one line all the way up. Exhaling, keep bending into it. And when you're ready, bring that left arm down this time. Inhale the right arm up, big stretch. You might even stretch over. Lovely stretch through the side. And then again, squeezing in the lower muscles of the abdomen to come up to stand, arms down. You're going to bring the legs into a little wider, certainly wider than hip width, about a foot and a half or so, maybe two feet apart. And you're going to bend the knees, toes are pointing straight, take all the weight of your body onto your legs, thumbs and fingers all pointing in towards each other. And we're going to do a stretch for the back now. So very slight bend to the right knee and you're going to ease the right shoulder down to the center of the floor. Draw the left shoulder back, looking over the left shoulder. Coming back to the center, we'll go the other side. A little bend of the left knee, draw the left shoulder down this time to the center of the floor, draw the right shoulder back, looking over the right shoulder. And again, back we go. 
Little bend of that right knee, right shoulder down, left over the left shoulder. You're drawing the shoulders in opposite direction. Last time, back to the centre. Drawing the knee down, left shoulder down, right shoulder back. And then coming back. Back to the centre, round the spine and nice and slowly coming up to stand. Hopefully you'll feel a little bit more space in the body. Enjoy the feeling. Namaste, thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. If you want more videos, you can come along to the YouTube channel, Mama Baby IE, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.